Good evening, America and the world, and thank you for joining us on this episode of The Midnight Snack. Today we are going to expand our culinary adventures even deeper into the realms of deep-fried heated tortillas. And today on the menu we will be testing out Pocky Haunted Ghost Pepper Chips. Now this product I was unaware of. Um, it showed up in a Google advertisement and I saw it and it looked oh so scrumptious and delicious that I just knew that this was a product that we had to feature on the Midnight Snack. So let's go over to our information station here. This is the website. The company is actually based out of Austin, uh, Texas. Very well done website. Um, I was very impressed with their overall marketing campaign. I could not find any actual commercials, which I was a little sad about. I do like to feature a commercial for the product I'm reviewing in this segment. Um, but we did not have that, but overall very impressed um, with this company. Based out of Austin, Texas, again, um, these haunted ghost pepper chips will be the ones we are reviewing. Um, in this episode, but they do offer a wide selection of different flavors. There's fiery chile limon, cool salsa verde, jalapeno tropical, and mucho nacho cheese. Um, they are really pushing this artificial gluten-free uh, agenda, but aside from that, what this website is telling me is that yes, we are using all natural ingredients, but our flavors are also quite bold. So that's what we're here to find out tonight. How well these chips will stack up against other chips such as Dorito. Clearly Dorito is the direct competitor here and will be the baseline for what we're gauging uh, this product against. Again, here's the packaging. I'm very impressed with the art as well as the material. Very thick, um, almost a gourmet chip-esque material. Very impressive. Um, one thing I did also notice doing research for this was that apparently a lot of YouTubers have done challenges for uh, this chip. This company did a single chip promotion um, where they released one single, supposedly the spiciest chip in America and the globe challenge during the launch of their initial brand and now um, after that this uh, haunted ghost pepper is supposed to be following in the same footsteps as the one chip challenge but a little bit more toned down for daily consumption so that is one thing we will also be looking into as we review this product is this something you could potentially consume on a daily basis for your midnight snack or is it more of a gimmick product where you get um, a bag, share it with your friends for a good laugh, but it's so excruciatingly hot that um, the realistics of consuming this on a daily basis would be detrimental for your health. So um, on, the, on the casing it does have a warning saying that it, it is freaking hot. So... Um, uh, let's dive right into it, shall we? Let's open these bad boys up. Alright, so, so far, um, not very many chips in here. I believe this is a 2-ounce bag. A uh, few less than you would expect for a, a chip bag of this caliber. All in, all in all, there's about maybe 15 pieces, So, and I think the cost on this was maybe $3, so again, a little bit on the pricier side, but given the packaging and hopefully the taste, the cost is justified. The initial scent, I'm not sensing a lot of flavor, unfortunately, but for a chip... It's not, not a huge deal breaker, but uh, compared to our last Taki review, this is not... Uh, that was a very flavorful scent here. It's more of a bland... Um, a bland whiff I'm getting. 
Uh, here's the chip. Essentially near identical to that of a Dorito chip. Um, I am a little concerned. Uh, just at first glance, it doesn't look like there might be a lot of seasoning on this. Um, but we'll find out. Again, I have not consumed any other foods for three hours and have only drank water. I do like to keep a very fresh and clear palate when tasting these for you guys just so I can give you the best feedback as possible. So again, the Haunted Pocky Ghost Pepper Chip and we're going in. Another one. Now as I'm eating these, I am pressing the chip against the tongue and the roof of my mouth to really get a sense of the spices, the flavor, and the heat. more here so the heat is there um, probably one of the hotter chips that I've tasted in my day um, I do have, I would say, an above average tolerance for heat. I'm not like a professional level by any means, but overall, um, I have been eating more spicy foods in my older years, so I, I feel that I do have a decent uh, tolerance for that. <coughs> and these chips are definitely at the high end spectrum for the amount of heat we're getting. I was going to try to do this review without water, but... <sighs> so yeah, if you're a heat junkie, um, this chip definitely would suit your needs. Is it something I could consume on a daily basis? Probably not. Um, the biggest thing for me was actually the flavor. The heat, uncontrollably there. My lips... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I have to oh, easily one of the hottest chips I've ever eaten. Um, but the flavor was not as bold as the packaging and marketing would suggest. I was expecting very bold flavors. I don't know if that's because um, they focused on the all-natural ingredients, um, the gluten-free uh, side of that. Um, but I was anticipating more robust flavors from the chip. The heat is there, but the overall flavor was lackluster. So I think overall I'm going to rate this chip a 6 out of 10. It has to be a 6 out of 10. I would have given it a 7 or 8 if the flavor was there. Um, but the spice easily 11 out of 10 dude my mouth right now is on literal fire so i think we're gonna end the review there thank you for tuning in and i hope to see you guys on the next one